Hi all, welcome to Simple Engineering, Engineering Simplified. I am Dr. Neetu P.S. Today we are going to discuss about multiplexers. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Let's move to the video. Multiplexer. So multiplexer is to select one signal from a group of 2 to the power n inputs and output on a single output line. So you can see that in the figure you have from D0 to D7 inputs which means that we have 8 inputs and 1 output as F. So multiplexer means it will select one signal from a group of different uh, inputs. So you can have like uh, the figure which is shown here is an 8 is to 1 multiplexer. 4 is to 1 multiplexer is there, 2 is to 1 multiplexer is there. So 8 is to 1 multiplexer where you have 8 inputs which is from D0 to D7. So these are called data input line and F is your output line. And you can see that 3 different lines are there A, B and C which is your select lines. So you you have three select lines A, B and C. So considering different combinations, the first one is when A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0 and C is equal to 0. That is your 0 inputs or 0 select lines where at that time your output will be selected as D0. So A0 means it is A bar, B0 means it is B bar and C0 means it is C bar. So when your condition is A bar, B bar, C bar, D0 is the input line which is selected from the data lines and it is transferred to the output. So your output will be A bar, B bar, C bar into D0. Same like that, the next condition is 0, 0, 1. At that time, D1 is the data line or the input which is selected and transferred to the output. So, 0, 0, 1 means it is A bar, B bar, C. Then next is 0, 1, 0 which is A, B bar and C. Uh, A, B bar and C means that is 1, 0, 1. So, that is this one, 1, 0, 1 which is D5 data line is selected and is transferred to the output. So, if you consider 0, 1, 1 which is A bar, B and C. At that time, D3 is the data line or the input which is selected and transferred to the output. So, when it is 0, 1, 1 means, the select line 0, 1, 1 is selected means your output will be A bar, B, C into D3. So, this is the way your multiplexer will work. So, you can see that when D0 is the output you got means it is A bar, B bar, C bar, D0. D1 means it is A bar, B bar, C, D1. D2 means it is A bar, B, C bar, D2. And D3 means it is 0, 1, 1 which is A bar, B, C, D3. So this is the way you will get your input data lines transferred to the output. So, this is the logic diagram of your multiplexer, 8 is to 1 multiplexer, where you have input from D0 to D7 and each one represents your uh, output Y is, this is your uh, output F if you are selecting, when it is D0 is the data that is transferred to the output means you have A, B, C select lines. So, D0 means it is A bar, B bar, C. So, A bar, here you have B bar and C bar into D0 gives your first output. So, similarly like D1, D2, D3, D4, all this input lines will be selected and it is transferred to the output. So, uh, A, B, C is your select lines. So, uh, according to different combinations. So, if you have 8 is to 1 multiplexer means D0 to D7, 8 inputs will be there. 
So, in different combinations, that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 in that row, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Then where this multiplexer is used? So, uh, if you want to choose one of the several inputs, you can opt for this multiplexer. Then uh, you, your multiplexer means it is 2 to the power n is to 1. That is the ratio. So, if you have uh, n, n is the uh, n if you are taking it as 3, 2 to the power 3 is to 1. So, 2 into 2 into 2. 2 2 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8, 8 is to 1 multiplexer. So, you have 3 select lines for your multiplexer 8 is to 1, that is n is equal to 3. So, 2 to the power n is to 1 multiplexer, it can be used to implement the Boolean function with n variables by associating each of your input line with a row of the root table. So, hope uh, this is clear for everyone. If you find this useful, Please share it with others. Thank you.